Hi folks and welcome to Shake Happens. Today's episode, we're gonna be spending, a friend of mine are gonna be spending some time in the wood shop. It's about six degrees outside. Uh, it's making ice, I hope it stays cold because I'd like to ice fish. But I didn't have anything going on this weekend. Uh, my buddy in Southern Ohio didn't have anything going on, so he made the trip up here and brought his little lathe. It's one of the few things that I don't have in my wood shop and I'd like to learn a little bit about it for turning. So that's what we're going to do in this episode, play around in the wood shop. About a year ago I made a couple wood mallets, uh, one for me and a one, one for a friend. It's the first mallet I ever made in my life, and I think we're going to make a couple more of these too. Um, so that'll be one of the projects. But here's some of the stuff he turned on his lathe. Um, some mallets here. This has got a nice little uh, copper trim on the edge of it. I think this is out of ash, black ash maybe. And then he turned these beautiful mallets here. This was out of a piece of elm that I sent home with him the last time he was here. We got enough that's got a really nice swirl pattern and then I think we can get another one out of this block. And then I think he did some glue ups with this with black ash and walnut. So we're gonna make some more of these. So I got a block of walnut here, punched a hole in. This is what we're gonna work on first. So I'll probably get into looking or working with this tomorrow. Uh, he just wanted to get it set up, turn a handle quick, play around with it a little bit. I think he said this is a mop horn, 12 by 18, that he bought on Amazon. What'd you pay for this? Uh, just the basic lathe was about 360 bucks, and then the extension for the bed's about another 80 or 90, something like that. And he did a lot of research before buying this, and <laughs> a lot of these components are, are the exact same cast, as far as he could tell, on all the brand name models. Uh, Jet, Grizzly, uh, Rockler, wh whoever, it all looked the same to him. So this is what he went with. It's got a digital readout. There's a variable speed on it. Kind of a neat little unit. It seems like it's priced right. I'm going to play around with it over the weekend. We're going to try to turn a few things. and I think something like this might be a nice addition for the shot. Slot in with the bandsaw when we're done and then we can wedge it with, we can find a piece of, I don't know, ash or cherry or something that'll contrast. It's nice to have a contrasting color. You, uh, you don't want to go a little smaller than one inch. You're just saying that the... Yeah, we'll, we'll sand it for an exact fit or something. We want to we want it snug of anything right now. We can always take more off. We'll go too small that, or screwed. That wedge looks just a little bit wider than the curve of the blade. That's why I was asking if you're taking the diameter down a little bit to no we'll just we'll just make it an inch <coughs> okay so i'm gonna run this down to to an inch i got a pair of calipers set here to one inch and we'll turn it down a little bit and see where we end up at in addition to matt turning these uh, mallets he's also into spoon carving these are pretty cool i wouldn't mind doing a few of these down the road I like that little curve feature too. While Matt's in the wood shop there using that lathe, turning the handle up, I'm gonna go ahead and poke around for some hardwood. I know we wanna use this elm for one of these, maybe do another one walnut. But I wanna find some pretty wood, hardwood, it's got a nice pattern to it or grain. Three quarter inch stock, get three pieces cut, three and a half inches, uh, probably deep. We'll just do some six inch blanks for, for glue ups. I got uh, two of these head blanks cut. I think on these two, I'm gonna do hard maple on the outside and walnut on the inside. It's about the size of them there. I think they're three and a quarter inches. Oh, by 
five inches wide with a little bit of an angle and later on these will all get rounded over but in the center here on the bottom I got a one inch mark going out to an inch and a half mark I'm gonna get these cut it's basically before I do these glue ups there'll be a mortise and tenon in the center there with a little bit of a wedge from one inch to inch and a half and then when the handle goes up in there, we'll score some marks where we can pound the wedges in. So I'm gonna get these center pieces cut and do a glue up. I took the blanks or these glue ups out of the clamps this morning, sanding them a little bit. There's two of them with hard maple on the outside, walnut on the inside, and then one with walnut on the outside, maple on the inside. I'm gonna take these, all three of these over to I'm going to take them to the router table and just put a little chamfer edge on all these square corners and then we'll get going on the handles. So uh, Matt's been working on this mallet here with a lathe. Oh, that's some beautiful walnut. This thing is going to come out really nice. We're gonna put, uh, like his other mallet, we're gonna put some copper bands on here on both sides to set it off. And I'm not sure how I wanna do this profile if I wanna leave the, the tip of that proud, but we're gonna get uh, a light colored wedge of sorts to offset this. But this is really turning out nice. Can't wait to see it when it's finished. All right, I did, uh, Run a chamfer on these, all three of these mallet heads, and sanded them with some 220 grit paper. These are just about ready to go. We just need to get some handles made, uh, get some wedges, and I'm hoping these really these really pop. This walnut's got some really cool grain going on, and the reason I wanted to go with maple on the outside of these, it's really extremely tough to see, but there is some tiger stripe in there. I'm hoping once we get some poly or whatever we're gonna put on that, that pops out. Earlier I showed you one of these real nice wooden mallets that uh, my buddy Matt turned out of some elm that I gave him. And I had another block of this, so he just turned another one. But if you find the right elm, it is some beautiful wood, it really is. Those are nice. And here in a minute, I'm gonna be getting on this lathe. This mallet that Matt started on yesterday, he's been working on a little bit today. It's close to the finish line. All walnut. We still need to trim this and get a wedge in it, but that is beautiful. And I'm really thinking a lathe is going to be in the wood shop in the future here. It shit happens. Knowing that I can turn out something like this. Right now, Matt's at the table saw. Uh, prepping up a handle for this mallet head. It's just getting the end cut that's going to go in here with a couple wedges and then he's going to get it on the lathe and turn the handle. Here's the finished product of the first turn mallet. This thing looks beautiful. Matt just finished turning this walnut handle for this head, mallet head. And I originally was gonna do two maple handles for these. Like this one's ready to go, we're gonna get this on the lathe, he's gonna get that turn. 
But I think for this third one, instead of doing another maple, I grabbed a piece of honey locust. I think this would make a real nice handle for this. So this might be the third handle we do out of honey locust. Before I run this over to the bandsaw and rip this all the way down, I wanted to put a little hole there to prevent that board from splitting when I pound in those wedges. I get this in there. There'll be a wedge in the center and then two on the opposing sides. That'll all be glued in and be a nice tight fit. We've been using this Howard Feed and Wax. It's an orange oil wood polish and conditioner. Boy, this really makes some things pop. But, got another mallet down. Working on two more. We're on day two with my buddy Matt from Southern Ohio coming up. He brought his lathe up. And we've been working on some woodworking projects. Mostly turning mallets. Uh, we made these three mallets here. This one I'm not going to put together yet because this is some pretty wet honey locusts. There's a lot of moisture in this yet and I don't want to assemble all this and have it shrink so I'm going to wait and I'll just finish this one up in about six months. This mallet here with the copper, these two mallets here, and then this beautiful mallet that we turned with the elm. Some really cool stuff. And in another video that I put together with this walnut table, we, I finished this, it'll be in a separate video, but I finished this nice walnut table with a little bow tie inlay. So, so far, pretty productive weekend. We do uh, have a couple more plans for tomorrow. I think we might try turning some bowls. But it's kind of new, opening me up to the world of the lathe and what can it, what it can do. I mean, there's just really, really neat stuff. So it's about 7:45 Saturday night. We're done in the wood shop. We're done with power tools. We're cracking some beer, having a little Elijah crack. We're gonna fire the grill up here soon and do some deer burgers. And I do have a 12-pound brisket in the smoker that's gonna run for about 12, 13 hours. So not only are we, going to be, are we going to be eating good tonight, we're going to be eating good tomorrow. Thanks for joining me here today on Shick Happens. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Me and Matt had a great time this weekend in the wood shop. I got to learn a little bit about the lathe, see if it was something that I wanted to include in my workshop, and I really think I do. It's a fun machine. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.